Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Today's video is a new kind of video. I'm attempting to combine two different types of videos I've made in the past, those being the exhibit speed builds and the parks that are based off of a geographical area. And so the, the combination of those two things is, has resulted in a Jurassic Park North America Park and Exhibit Speed Build. So rather than having one video that's about Jurassic Park North America, um, we're going to have several videos in which I both build the enclosures and build the park. So it's kind of like an Exhibit Speed Build and a Park Speed Build. Um, across multiple episodes and the finished product will be a full Jurassic Park North America and you will have gotten to see the full building process. So for part one we're building the entrance I do and as well as the first enclosure which is going to be kind of the centerpiece of the Jurassic era part of the park. The park is going to be split into a Jurassic era zone and a Cretaceous era zone. So all of the Jurassic era dinosaurs are going to come first and the Allosaurus exhibit is going to be um, up front. So you're gonna see my famous uh, octagon, not a hexagon in which you can use the 45 degree angle snapping abilities um, of the game to make an octagon. I previously have said this is a hexagon, which is wrong, so it only took me a couple years to rectify that mistake. But um, that's where the Allosaurus is going to be, and we're going to get down our starter buildings as well. And as the episodes progress, you will see that this park will have room for pretty much all of the amenities and the extra buildings that we may need to have an actual fully functioning park even though I have all of the creative options turned on for sandbox mode. The idea was to make an actual uh, park that could function in like a challenge mode scenario but without having to worry about all of the challenge mode uh, building problems and process and everything. So this should be, you know, it'll be a fully functional park with hotels and amenities and ranger stations and everything like that, but we're, we're just not going to be worrying too much about the uh, actual logistics of having all those things unlocked in a challenge mode playthrough. So with all of that being said, I hope that you all enjoy this new video format. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, next week, I'm thinking we're going to expand the park, of course, but the next exhibit is probably going to feature Stegosaurus and maybe one other Jurassic herbivore, either a sauropod or maybe I will put Dryosaurus in there as well. Until then, I hope you enjoy part one, and I will see you next time.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome the right. 